Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hello, afternoon, evening, whenever you are watching, we welcome you. Come in, come in. God bless you, God bless you. What a day the Lord has blessed us with. Give you a few minutes. I am running late this morning, but we are here this morning, today, today. So come on in. Tag and share as you come in this morning. I want to continue teaching on supernatural economy. So we welcome you today, each one of you that are coming in. So glad that you're coming in this morning. Welcome, welcome. This is the day the Lord has made for us, and we are rejoicing and we are glad about it. I'm going to literally jump right into this teaching because I believe that this is where the Lord is, and this is what the Lord is saying to us. And so I want to continue to declare the word of God and speak it. Um, I tell you here, I'm in Colorado Springs in Colorado, and we woke up to negative three degree weather this morning. So it is quite chilly here. And so I am in the house right now. And so just trying to stay warm, but welcome, welcome. I want to thank you all that are praying for me. Y'all saw me in my little video I did going to the gym and I'm continuing. So thank you all for supporting me and praying that I keep going. I got to stay healthy for myself, my family, and for this ministry. Amen. So Thank you all for praying for me. Well, let's jump in here. Let's talk about it. I cannot see names today, so I'm not going to really say much to you all that are on, but I'm going to come back and greet each one of you. But thank you for joining me today. Well, we are um, in this vein um, about maybe about three weeks ago, the Lord spoke to me and said, um, I'm releasing a supernatural economy a six and seven figure income. Um, this anointing has been released for us to receive, for us to, to step into and to tap into. So let me pray. Father, I just thank you for this broadcast. I thank you for those who are listening. I thank you for what you will say, what you will release to us. I thank you for impartation. I thank you that our faith is being increased uh, over this time together in Jesus name. Amen and amen. Well, I want to teach a little bit this morning and break it down. Sometimes, you know, I just, the Lord has me in such a preach anointing, but today I just really need to slow down and, and, and really teach this to make sure that we lay hold, that we lay hold. Let me ask you a question. Do you really believe in the supernatural? That came to me um, earlier, uh, well, in over the weekend, that you, you hear us saying supernatural economy, but do we, the body of Christ, you know, do we really believe in the supernatural? Um, the world has perverted the supernatural so much. Just about every movie that we see that comes out in Hollywood, it's so much of people trying to tap into the supernatural and people are drawn to it. Well, the supernatural is, is really, really simple. It is the power of God. It is the power of God in demonstration. It's God's, the supernatural is really God's natural work. It's what he just does. It's super to us, but it's natural to him. God's supernatural work is his natural work, but it's super to us. And so the supernatural is the power of God. It's God's power in demonstration. It's something you could not do by yourself. And so we see that the enemy has tried in every way to duplicate and has perverted the supernatural. This is why so many people are drawn to witchery. They are, they, they are, they are drawn to the demonic side of the supernatural um, through witches and warlocks and getting into all of that because people want power. People want to do what they naturally could not do. So they're drawn uh, to this supernatural place. But when you hear this word of the Lord, that supernatural economy um, is here, it may sound strange. And it has always been here. It is nothing new. But the Holy Spirit just stirred me and said, 
make sure my people understand that this is the release now. This is what is in the earth. And I don't want them to miss out on what I am doing. And so it is the supernatural work of the Lord. And I'm going to break it down and show you even more how this is the supernatural work of God, even as it relates to our finances. Now, I know you have some people that say, well, this don't make sense to me. You know, I can just work with my hands and I'm real big on working, you know, um, being very diligent. And so there might be somebody saying, well, I can just go to work and that's how I'm going to make my money. And of course, I, uh, yes. You, you will go to work or you will be self-employed. You will be an entrepreneur. And yes, money will come in that way. But when the Lord says supernatural, this means God's going to get in there and, and he's going to do something that your hands could not do by themselves. It's God saying, I'm going to bless you. I'm going to help you beyond what your natural hands can do. Some people may draw away from this, this word of the Lord, supernatural economy, because you may say, oh, that's the prosperity gospel. And yes, the gospel is prosperous. Yes, God is blessing. God is a blessed. He's, he blesses his people. He says, I wish above all things that you prosper and be in good health, even as your soul prospers. So it's the will of God. Come on. It's the will of God that his people are blessed. It's the will of God. Come on that you have more than enough. It's the will of God that you don't live in lack. And so we so we come against that spirit of religion that wants you to be beat up, broke down, come on, driving in a hoopty or whatever and clothes raggedy. That's the devil. That's not the will of God for his people. And so when you hear that word supernatural economy, do not allow the spirit of religion to make you think this is not what God has for you. And this is a prosperity gospel. God is a prosperous God. And then somebody might, you know, for the end, the super, super analytical people, how is money just going to show up? How is God, you know, you're trying to figure out how it's going to happen. You know, you, you're trying to see it scientifically and trying to see how it's going to show up. I want to say to you today, do not allow your mind to cause you to miss what God has because you're overthinking, you're being over analytical and God just simply wants you to walk in faith and receive. And so today we are moving into part three. <coughs> Excuse me. We're moving into part three. Part three of supernatural economy. And I want us to just look at three places in the Bible where uh, we see supernatural economy. I want us to just first see the witness of the word of God. Amen. And then I want you to go back and I want you to meditate on this because what I sensed on Saturday as I was teaching uh, there at Remnant that we are releasing this word of the Lord, supernatural economy. We're talking about finances that God is going to bless his people with that you did not work for or just showed up um, out of nowhere. Money, um, resources, you know, new streams, people are sowing into you. There's so many ways. And, 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 and I want to show you in the word of God where this has happened and is still happening and how God wants you to move into it. Go to Joshua chapter 24, Joshua chapter 24, verse number 13. Let me read this to you. It says, I have given you a land. I have given you a land. I'm in Joshua 24, verse 13. I have given you a land for which you did not labor. You did not labor and cities which you did not build. He says, I've given you a land that you did not labor for. And I have given you cities which you did not build and you dwell in them. You eat of the vineyards and olive groves, which you did not plant. I want you to see that in Joshua chapter 24, verse 13, where God is speaking to the man of God. God is speaking to the Israelites saying, I have given you this. I have given you this cities that you did not build, olive groves and vineyards that you did not plant. I, the Lord, have given this to you. Good morning to you that are coming in. God bless you all in the comments. Thank you so much for joining me, joining us this morning. So you see this in Joshua chapter 24, this foundational scripture where God makes it so clear to us that he will give you land. He will give you cities. He will just give what you did not with your hands work for. We're talking about supernaturally 
the economy, that God is giving that to his people, that God is releasing that to the kingdom of God. Amen. Now, I want to show you three areas and we've heard this but i want to go back over it again because see your faith has to be at a place to receive your faith has to be at a place to receive what i was what i forgot to say before is on saturday as i was teaching um for the remnant service before that the lord began to show me that the spirit of poverty is pushing so the enemy hears us talking about supernatural economy and money for our homes and money for ministry and money to, to go full-time ministry and all of this different stuff. So the enemy is like, uh-uh, we're going to have to push back on that. So there's, so there's a lot of mental warfare that that that, that have really that, that could have come up in your mind since you've been really hearing, hearing me teach on this and releasing this. So mental warfare, you know, trying to cause you to be fearful, trying to cause you not even to maybe give them, you know, trying to figure out How's this going to happen? You know, being over analytical. And so there's a pushback from the enemy. But the spirit of God said, Cherry, push back. Come on, push back through teaching, push back through my word. So my people understand this is for you. When God speaks something to me as clearly as he did, I take it. I run with it and I expect it. Come on. And I'm going to share about six or seven testimonies and testimonies are coming in. That supernatural economy has been showing up ever since, you know, I just began to release this word. Of course, it was already happening, but I'm just saying this atmosphere, we're stirring it up. We're stirring it up, amen, with faith so that we can receive. Now, let's look at these three areas, these three stories in the Bible. We already know them. Go to Matthew uh, go to Exodus chapter 16. We're talking about supernatural economy. And I want to keep and I want to help you stay in faith. I want to help you keep your faith posture for expectation. Look at Exodus chapter 16 and verse number 12. And we know this story. The Israelites, they were in the wilderness. They had left Egypt and they were hungry. They wanted more. They wanted, you know, food. They wanted uh, 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 meat. And let me show you. Exodus chapter 16, verse 12. Here God says, I have heard the murmurings of the children of Israel. Speak to them saying, at twilight you shall eat meat and in the morning you shall, you shall be filled with bread and you shall know that I am the Lord your God. So it was that quail came at evening. They did not work for this. Quail came at evening and covered up the camp and in the morning do lay all around the camp i need y'all to hear this and when the layer of dew lifted there on the surface of the wilderness was a small round substance as fine as frost on the ground so when the children of israel saw it they said to one another what is it for they did not know what it was and moses said to them this is the bread this is the bread which the Lord has given, given you to eat. Here over a, a million people, God sends them manna from heaven. He sends, he feeds them at night in the morning. Look at this. This is supernatural economy. And look at the end of this. This is the bread which the Lord has given you has given you. There's some things God wants to give you this year. There is finances. There is open doors. There are keys, come on, that God wants to give you. And, I, and all I'm doing right now is trying to help us stay in a posture to believe. I'm trying to keep us in a posture of expectation and allowing our faith to stay in step with God to receive. Some of you, God has spoken to you to come off of your job. And this spirit of poverty is fighting, fighting what God told you to do. Now, if God didn't tell you to do it. Don't do it. But there's people that God has stirred your spirit. He has spoke to you that the season here is up. And God says, I'm going to bring you into supernatural economy. There are new streams. Come on. There are new doors. Listen, that, that, that I have, that I want you to move this way. Listen, and I want you to stay in faith. I want you to stay in a place of expectation. Don't you dare doubt your God. So this is in Exodus chapter 16. God feeds them supernaturally with man. And go to Matthew chapter 14. This, this, this is our second one. We're just, we're just storing our faith this morning, keeping our faith alive this morning. In Matthew chapter 14, verse number 13. 
Matthew 14 and 13. Look at this. When Jesus heard it, he departed from there by boat to a deserted place by himself. Am I in the right place? Let me make sure I'm right. Okay. Okay. Let me go to 14. And when Jesus went out, he saw a great multitude and was moved with compassion for them and healed their sick. When it was evening, his disciples came to him saying, this is a deserted place and the hour is already late. So he, so, so they're saying, send them back to the villages to buy themselves some food. Look at verse 16. But Jesus said to them, they do not need to go away. You give them something to eat. See, this is where God is even a, 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 a positioning his people. He's saying, listen, I want to bless you so that you can bless others. I want to put so much in your pocket so that you can be a blessing to other people. We don't want to just say, I can pray for you. Come on. It has to go beyond, I can pray for you. Listen, but I can also go build schools in my community. I can go build shopping centers. We can build hospitals. Listen, he says, listen, he says to them, you give them something. Well, you can't <clears throat> give if you don't have. And then it says in 17, and they said to him, we have here only five loaves and two fishes. You all know the rest of this story. Jesus says, bring them here to me. And he took and he blessed the, 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 he blessed, he blessed the five loaves and the two fishes. And you know, he fed 5,000 men plus women and children. OK, and there were 12 baskets left over. We're talking about supernatural economy. I don't want you to doubt what God wants to do. I want you to stay in that place of expectation. I want you to believe that, yes, God, God has seen your labor of love. God has just, you have seed in the ground. Come on. I said you've got seed in the ground from years and years. And let me tell you the significance of why I believe this word was released. And you already know, Matthew. Matthew 17, 27, that's our third one. Then I want to tell you the significance of God releasing this right now. Matthew 17, verse number 27. Here, they were, uh, there was a concern about the taxes and the, and the taxes getting paid. And in verse number 26 of Matthew 17, Peter said to him from strangers, uh, Jesus said to him, then, well, let me go to 27. Nevertheless, we offend them. Nevertheless, lest we offend them, go to the sea, cast in a hook and take the fish that comes up first. And when you have opened its mouth, you will find a piece of money. Lord Jesus, you will find a piece of money. Take that and give it to them for me and you. So it's enough for, to, for, the, for the debt to be paid for both of us. He says, go here. See, that's the word of knowledge. I'm going to talk about that in a few minutes. See, God's giving words of knowledge and words of wisdom where to go and, and locate and find the piece of money. See, all of that is supernatural economy. Listen, when the supernatural gets into your wealth increase, when the supernatural gets into, listen, what God wants to deposit in you so that you can be a blessing to the world. I want y'all to see this. God is supernatural. We serve a supernatural God. I just showed you three places and we know these where God supernaturally brought provision. God supernaturally brought income. Now, why I believe God in 2022 released this word and spoke this to me. And I believe he's saying this to so many. This is just not one. He, he, it's just, a, is he just releasing this word? I believe across the globe It's 2022. This is the Jew, Jewish year 5782. This is a smitta year. It is a year of release, a year of release. There is much that has been held up because we know we don't wrestle just against flesh and blood. I believe even some finances have been held up and there is a release. You all know Daniel chapter 10. He was just waiting on an answer. 
and these principalities of, and they were fighting these princes in the air they were fighting against the answer i believe that even some of us there has been warfare against the finances coming to you because the enemy understands the assignment is great and wanting to keep the finances from you but in the name of jesus come on we have received the word of the lord for supernatural economy some of you are stepping into six and seven figure incomes it's going to be supernatural doors open supernatural connections come on god is going to cause you to meet right people there's 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 there's, there's networking that's going to happen that's going to cause you to come into there's inheritance that's going to be um, released there are court battles that have money that is going to be released i need y'all to hear this this is a year of release it is also a year of rest in a smitty year, the people are supposed to let the land rest. Come on. Supposed to let the land just rest. And it came to my heart, well, if we're resting, somebody's got to be working. And I believe that's God. The spirit of the Lord is working for his people. This is why he says, I'm going to give you cities that you did not build. Come on. I'm going to give you land. Come on. That you did not you know, you did not create. I'm going to give you groves and, and vineyards that you did not plant. I'm working for you. Supernatural economy is God working for you. The angels move, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> moving for you. This is faith. This is faith. It, it, it took faith for the, the man, the, the manager showed up. Now they didn't even know what was even happening. So God just did it. See, this is a year that God's just going to do some stuff. Lord Jesus, this, 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 this is a year. Let me just give you some of the testimonies that, that have come in. It's, it's, it's just a year that you, you're not even looking for it to happen. One, one, one believer uh, out of nowhere, uh, uh, just unexpected $6,675 just showed up for them last, last week just unexpected blessing. Another uh, person, $950, showed up unexpected. I need y'all to hear this. I need y'all to let your faith stay in that posture. Another person, 400, another person, 200. Another person said there's a multi-million dollar a, a, a deal sitting on the table right now. Just, just unexpected. God bringing people into supernatural wealth. Another 90,000. I'm talking about supernatural uh, wealth. See, God is even causing an upgrade to come to our expectation about money. Some have been dealing with pennies and dimes too long, nickels and dimes too long. We, we, we got to come out of nickels and dimes and quarters. Come on. God is trying to upgrade his people. But as I've been teaching also, the spirit of intimidation, wanting to intimidate you from a particular level financially, that you don't belong here. Come on. That that somebody just said, somebody just said that they got blessed with $1,500 last week. Come on. I'm talking about supernatural economy. I, I, you, you would be crazy if God say he want to bless you. And you acting like you don't want to receive or you won't let your faith just, just, just receive it. No, no. God saying, listen, I want to bless you. Listen. So this is a person just, just, just sent a message. $1,500 supernatural economy last week. Another person, 800 yesterday. I got a text. $800 just came out of nowhere. Supernatural economy. Another $400. Another $200. I'm talking about supernatural economy. On last week, I put some posts out. Expect supernatural economy this week. The first day, the first, that Monday, the first post that went out. I've been teaching it for a week. A person a, a messaged me, private messaged me and said, listen, I have been waiting on a grant to come through since October and it just came through today. Listen, a grant was released, supernatural money coming. And see, that's something else about supernatural economy. It's when God will, 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 will accelerate your money. Come on, he'll cause the money to, to, to start running, Lord. Woo! Somebody say God will start the start money. It'll start running for you, looking for you, chasing after you. It's it could be something that you thought was gonna come 
in June, or maybe you 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 know it's coming in October, and God will supernaturally speed that process up, and that money will start running and looking for you. See, that's supernatural when it was supposed to come in October, but it shows up in March. Come on, when He accelerates the finances, when He causes the prosperity to come sooner than what you expected. I need somebody to say supernatural. We are here today, and we are pushing back against. Poverty. We've been dealing with nickels and dimes too long, but God is saying, my people, you must come into this new dimension. And I rebuke the spirit of intimidation that would cause you to say you don't qualify. You can't handle it. How is it going to happen? That's too much. We rebuke that low thinking, that intimidation, that spirit of fear. But Father, we come into, come on, we come into supernatural economy in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Another person reached out. I was talking to somebody last week. Glory to God. And they said that that, that they sent the teaching to, to, to a friend of theirs and, the, and, and they told them about what the teaching was. It was around 8.30 and around 10.30, they got a call from the from the bank that 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 the that the finances was approved for the ministry. We're talking about God expediting. We're talking about God's power showing up in your finances. I need somebody to believe God. This is not the time. This is not the, this, 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 this ain't it right here. We cannot, we cannot shrink back into fear, into unbelief. And let me say this, let, let, let me say this. As you're in a posture of expectation, and I'm getting ready to, 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 to end here. When you're in a posture of expectation, everything you shout about, if you, if, if, listen, if somebody cash app you $10, that's supernatural economy. Listen, don't just, don't just let it be. Oh, it's gotta be a million. Oh, it's gotta be 3000. Whatever God calls us people to give to you during this season or whatever just shows up. You better rejoice over the little, come on. You better thank him for the little. You might have a little in the beginning, of, but come on and praise him like it's a million, come on. You might, $50 might show up. Father, I thank you for supernatural economy. A hundred, Father, I thank you for supernatural economy. Let God see your thanksgiving for what might be considered small. Don't just, oh, someone just gave me 50. No, you you better rejoice over that $50. Come on. You better rejoice. Somebody, somebody cash at me a small amount. I said, God, I give you praise. God, I thank you. It's more than what I had five minutes ago. God, I thank you. Come on. You better praise God for whatever. Come on. Somebody say whatever he bless you with. Whatever God blesses you with. Now, two last things. Slow down, Cherry. Two last things. I need us today. The Lord spoke this too. <laughs> He said, tell the people to come out of covenant with disappointment. Come out of covenant with, with disappointment. Come out of covenant with disappointment because that will cause you to miss what God has. If maybe in the past you had some disappointments financially, maybe there were some bad decisions. Maybe there was a season that you know you wasn't sowing or whatever, and the canker worm came in and ate some stuff up. Maybe there was just warfare against your finances, and you were doing everything right, but the enemy was just attacking, and you came into this place of, of disappointment. And so when you hear somebody talking about supernatural economy and fish money coming and manna from heaven, you're like, oh, I, I don't, mm -mm, I, I'm, you know, because of what I've been through, the Lord says, come out of, come out of covenant today. Come out of covenant with disappointment. Go to 2 Corinthians chapter 4. Let me show you how we're going to come out of covenant with disappointment today. And we're, and we're getting ready to pray, y'all, and wrap it up. But look at this. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse number 8. Verse number 8, 2 Corinthians. We are hard-pressed on every side, yet not crushed. So what we're going to do with this scripture is we're going to understand where we're supposed to be positioned because disappointment will have you on. I was hard pressed, y'all. I was just Lord. I was financially. I just been hard pressed and disappointment will keep you there. But this, but, but the spirit of faith says, no, 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 no. Shift over, but I'm not crushed. See, that's when we got to be postured. I might have been hard pressed, 
in a season, but faith says, come on, girl, but you're not crushed. See, I'm coming out of covenant with disappointment. Uh, it says we are perplexed. See, disappointment wants you to stay in that lane of, oh, I'm just perplexed. It's been stressed out. I don't know where anything's coming from. I've been about to take my car, my house. I'm just perplexed. I can't pay for the ministry. Listen, I'm perplexed. That's what disappointment wants you to stay there. You're in covenant. Listen, with all of that, but God says, no, no, faith says, come on, move over here now and say, but I'm not in despair. I'm not in despair. Because, see, I'm coming out of covenant with this disappointment. I'm not in despair. Yes, that happened. Yes, mm -hmm, I, I was perplexed. Yep, yeah, I was hard pressed. But the spirit of faith says shift and declare I'm not in despair. Persecuted I was, but faith says this, but I'm not forsaken. Look at this. I was struck down. I'm disappointed. Yes, I was struck down. But don't be in covenant with being struck down. Move with the spirit of faith. But I'm not destroyed. Come on. I'm not destroyed. And then if you read up in verse 7, it says, but we have. Come on. We have this treasure. See, there's a treasure in this earthen vessel. But if you stay in covenant with disappointment, you won't get to the treasure. You will stay in a place of being hard pressed. Your mind will always have, will always have you being focused on you were crushed. Have you focused on being perplexed? Focused on being persecuted and struck down? Come on. But God says, come into covenant with my word. Come into covenant with faith and declare what I said about you. Listen, I am not in despair. Come on. I am not destroyed. Listen, this is the place God wants his people. He says, come out of covenant with disappointment. He says, but come into covenant with expectation. Last scripture, 1 Corinthians chapter 2. He says, come into covenant with expectation. Come into covenant. You all know this. My eye have not seen, nor ear heard, nor have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for those who love him. I'm coming into covenant with what my eyes haven't seen. I'm coming into covenant with what my ears have not yet heard. I'm coming into covenant with what my heart doesn't even know what's getting ready to happen. Listen, I'm coming into covenant with what has been prepared. Yes. I'm keeping my faith alive. I'm keeping my heart posture in a place that I believe God. I pray today. I'm going to come back and finish this. I have a little bit more, but I'm going to come back and finish this because God says, tell the people to stay in faith about supernatural economy. He says, stay in faith about me blessing you. Stay in faith about what I said I want to give you. Come on. And if, and if this is your first time listening, I want you to go back and listen to the teaching uh, that, that, that I did. I really started on a Saturday night at Remnant when I was teaching on upgrade. When I was teaching on upgrade, that's when God had me to release this six and seven figure income um, that, that, that is here. It's, it's right here right now. And that God is just going to bless his people because he can and because he wants to. Amen. I need you to understand this as I close out today, that your assignment requires finances. It if you really have an assignment from God, it requires finances. I also want you to continue to push back against the spirit of poverty. You come out of covenant with poverty and disappointment and you stand in a place called prosperity and you believe that your God is going to bless you. Come on. I want you to stay in covenant with new streams, new ideas, new inventions that God has in you. Streams. There is a treasure in you. I want you to stay in covenant because he Economy is going to come from the stream. Listen, listen, I want you to guard the seed well. I'm almost done. I want you to guard the seed well. The enemy's going to try to come and eat the seed up, the spirit of poverty, but I want you to, to guard that seed well. And then God says, I want you to direct the seed well. You tell the money that God brings where it needs to go. Come on, guard that seed well. Do not come into covenant with unnecessary debt to 
don't let God bless you and then you go get in debt, but you guard that seed. Listen, don't you eat up the seed. Listen, just buying everything you see because a little extra came, come on, or a whole lot of extra has come. He says, guard it. Don't get into unnecessary debt and don't eat it up. Don't shop it away. Don't red lobster it away. Come on, understand there's purpose for the seed. Glory to God. He says to obey the fundamentals of, of tithing and offering them. Don't you get away and don't you stop giving. And listen, I want you to be a people that you don't mind sowing, that you looking for a place. I mean, there, there, there was a, I, I, I was in a, this place where I was, I was seeding every day. I was just, I was sending a seed to them, to ministries every single day. See, there, there is a, there is a prosperity mindset. Because if you think about it, we'll see other places every day. Some of you will see to Starbucks every day. Some of you go through McDonald's and get a coffee every day. Some of us will see into this and to that every day. See, if we if we shift our mentality about money, come on, and say, you know what? I want to seed. I don't want to just keep being blessed, but I can't see something. Listen, there, 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 there's a whole shift. That's another lesson. But do not shy away. From tithing and offering. And the last thing that we're going to pray is the word of knowledge and the word of wisdom. God will give words of wisdom and knowledge concerning supernatural economy. He's going to direct you. He's going to show you where, like he told the disciples, go to go here. And the first fish you see, that fish has the money. See, that's how God's going to lead us in this season. I want you to do this. I want you to call this group. I want you to come in covenant with them. I want you to invest here. Come on. I want you to seek words of knowledge and wisdom concerning supernatural economy. All of that is God. All of that is the Lord. So be very sensitive to be, 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 have an open ear. That's the word. Have an open ear to words of knowledge and wisdom concerning finances. I'm done. I'm talking fast. I'm trying to get done in the name of Jesus. Father, every person that sat here today, those who came through, they'll come back later. The replay guest. God, I pray in the name of Jesus that they have received this word of the Lord, that supernatural economy is here. I pray in the name of Jesus that they are coming out of covenant with disappointment and they are in covenant, God, with expectation. Father, I thank you that they're going to see what they haven't seen. They're going to hear what they haven't heard. They're going to come into what you have prepared. And we thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus, that your people will see six, seven, some eight-figure incomes. Father, it has already been prepared. We thank you that we will step into it in the name of Jesus. We thank you for the strength and the might of God. Hallelujah. We're coming into it now. We receive it now. Glory to God. We will wait for manifestation, but we receive the income now. We receive supernatural economy now. Glory to God. And our faith has been released. And we say it is so in Jesus' name. We thank you that we will be good stewards of what you have given. Glory to God. We will be good stewards of what you give your people. And we thank you for it in Jesus' name. We give you praise. We give you glory, my God. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. We give you glory and we give you honor in Jesus' name. I want to thank God for each one of you that have listened today. And normally I don't do this, but this morning when I was getting ready, the Lord said, you know what? Challenge the people. Anybody that says, Cherry, you know what? I want to come in covenant with you. I want to sow into what you're teaching. I believe in supernatural economy. I'm expecting it. I'm waiting on it. I've got seed in the ground. This is my year of harvest. Glory to God. I want to invite you. If you want to sow into remnant if you want to sow into this ministry you see it there on the screen any you know whatever it doesn't even matter so whatever if you feel led to do that 
I just believe with you. I am in covenant with you. I'm looking. I want you to send me your testimonies. I want to just, I want to celebrate with you today, but supernatural economy. Nothing is too small. Nothing is too big. We are believing God together. So you can sow right there. It's a whole lot I'm doing. Listen, it's a whole lot I believe God wants me to do. And so thank you for sowing. You all know Joshua Giles, Apostle Joshua Giles is coming to Colorado, to this region. You heard me give a decree last night. God is upgrading this region. I want you to be a part. Will you go register? Register and support us. Come virtually. Everybody's invited. Virtually, in person, Brain Global. Dot org. This man of God, I believe, has such an impartation for us. We don't want to miss it. Amen. I want you to walk away with this thought today. Walk away with this. God is accelerating finances and the money is running towards you. I need you to just dance on that. To just, just, just every time you think about it, just, just have a little Holy Ghost shuffle that God has finances, economy. Come on, chasing you, looking, where is she? Where, where is, listen, looking. My God, let that word sit in your spirit today and expect and believe God. Until next time, God bless you. You all know, here we come. Here we come. God bless you.